Today for Mouse Trap Monday, we're not going to catch mice or rats in the barn. Instead, we're going to trap gophers. Now, gophers can do a lot of damage. They dig tunnels underground, they leave dirt mounds everywhere, and they kill plants by eating the roots. They can be a real nuisance. Now, I've already posted quite a few videos on how to trap gophers, but in this video, we're going to test out the black box gopher trap made by Victor. It says it kills gophers quickly and effectively. Easy one-click set, safe, no poison, and durable design. Now before you purchase the black box gopher trap, the first thing you need to do is identify if you have gophers, moles, or voles. I've already posted a video on how to tell the difference. These underground pests leave very different sign, so make sure you watch the video to know what animal you're dealing with. Now in my opinion, moles are pretty easy to catch, but gophers are much more tricky. We'll see if the trap works. Now it says right here that Victor has been outsmarting rodents since 1898. Its history goes back to a man named William Hooker, who first invented the snap mouse trap. And in 1907, he filed a patent for this style of gopher trap. So it's been in use for over 100 years. Originally, the body was made out of wood and it was sold under the brand name OK Gopher Trap. Just last week, a very nice example from the original company was posted on eBay. It received 27 bids and sold for $287.99. So the antique versions can be very valuable, but these ones are affordable and they should work after being in use for over 100 years. We'll go ahead and take it out of the box. It's kind of stuck there. That was kind of tricky. Now the black box is made out of black plastic. And what they say is it's very easy to set. First set it on the ground, hit the trigger a few times, and then push down. Hey, that worked well. There are two springs that are very powerful and they're connected to this wire noose right here. You place the black box in the tunnel, the gopher will come along, put his body inside the noose, push dirt on the trigger, and when it does, whoa, that thing shot out of my hands. That would definitely kill a gopher. You just have to dig a hole down in their tunnel and set it. Any gopher that comes along, puts his head in there, is toast. Bam, that should get it on the head or neck. The trap looks like it's gonna work well, so let's go to the field and set it up and see if we can catch a gopher with the black box gopher trap. Okay, here's a classic example of fresh gopher activity. There's a center plug right there and a U-shaped dirt mound. Mole holes don't have that. This is really fresh within the last hour, so we're gonna dig down, find the tunnel, and set our trap. It's right there. We have our open tunnel. I'll place our trap and set it. Now when the gopher comes through there and hits the trigger, it will pop up. I'm gonna leave this overnight and we'll check it tomorrow. Okay, it's now the next day and as you can see, our gopher trap has been tripped. If you pull it out, you can see him. That's a really big gopher. Now I don't want the gopher we caught to go to waste, so I'm gonna feed it to wild animals. Let's go set up the motion cameras and see what comes along and enjoys a giant gopher snack. Well, that black-tailed deer and the flicker woodpeckers were pretty curious, but they didn't want to have anything to do with a dead gopher. But much to my surprise, the skunk rejected the free meal. 
that's a lot of meat, and I guess her skunk's getting to be a picky eater at the compost pile. It turned up its nose and walked away. But don't worry, we'll compost that gopher and it will feed my garden. Thank you so much for watching my videos and thanks to all the viewers who are sending me art. I love seeing the pictures. And I also enjoy seeing the photos of people's pet cats watching Mousetrap Mondays. If you haven't subscribed, please consider clicking that button. I've posted over 600 videos on YouTube and currently I'm posting new videos every Monday and Friday. So if you want to see the best videos on how to catch mice, rats, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, voles, and gophers, stay tuned.